Hello everybody, today I'm bringing you a video that was teased about in my previous video. My gaming slash editing PC is done and for not a whole lot of money. The full parts list will be in the description below and you might be surprised at how much this all cost. Anyway, let's take a closer look. The case I chose was an Antec GX500 mid tower case. It comes with three pre-installed fans. I put one in the front for intake and two in the top and back for exhaust. It also has room for one more in the front one more on the top, and one on the side for a total of six fans. The front of the case has a removable mesh and fan filter. The bottom of the case also has a fan filter for downward facing power supplies, and it also has two USB 3 ports on the front. This case was picked up at Newegg for $25 after mail and rebate. It's a fully featured mid tower case with toolless drive bays and large motherboard cutout. Cooling is decent, and there's a lot of room for expansion. I like the design and also the price. I'd be more than happy to use this case in another build, as well as recommend it to someone doing a budget build. Kudos to Antec. Now let's take a look at the inside. The motherboard I chose was the Gigabyte GA78LMT USB 3. Running this computer is an AMD FX6200 with a modest overclock of 4.2 GHz. Cooling that CPU is a Cooler Master Hyper 212 Plus. Alongside that, I have 4 GB of RAM with 4 more on the way and a humble GTX 550 Ti. I have two Seagate Barracudas, a 120GB for OS and programs, and a 500GB for mass storage. Powering all of this is an 80 plus bronze Antec Earthwatts 500 watt power supply. Looking at the other side, we have a poor attempt at cable management, and that's about it. This computer takes up a lot more space than my laptop, but it also outperforms it quite a bit. These are very modest specs and are nowhere near a high-end build, but it gets the job done. And to answer the age-old question, can it run Crisis? Yes. Yes, it can. At 1080p, it can manage an average of 30 FPS on high textures and medium details. Bump down the resolution to 1600 by 900 and you have a solid 45 FPS. It's a very similar story with Batman Arkham Origins. At 1080p, max details, it hovers around 30 frames per second. However, if you turn down some of the shadows, the FPS jumps to a solid 50. Jumping into Far Cry 3, we start to see a trend. At 1080p, high details, the FPS is in the high 20s and low 30s. But once again, lowering the resolution drastically increases the performance. The performance of this PC was well worth the cost, and I'm very happy. Once again, the link to all the parts will be right below the like button. Anyway, thank you for watching and for all the support for getting me to 100 subscribers. I hope this PC will help me to get more videos to you all in the future. If you liked this video, hit that like button. If you disliked it, hit the dislike button. If you aren't one of the 100 plus subscribers, make sure you subscribe so you don't feel left out. Once again, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.